Oh, hello YouTube. Summer break is almost there. Oh, ah. uh. Hello. Hello again. Long time no see. I have seen your suggestions. And today we will find the view matrix. Pickle. So the view matrix simplified is a 4x4 set of values that correspond to the camera's orientation and position in the game. We can use this matrix to create ESP and wall hacks in the future. So finding it is the first step. In this video I will show you one very simple way that works for many FPS games that I think you will like. Make sure to write down your other suggestions in the comments and we'll look at them. Leave a like, you can join the Discord, have some fun there. Now, don't be a douche, do not use sheets for unfair advantages, do not use it in multiplayer, you will get banned, just don't do it. Now enjoy this tutorial. Alright, let's find that view matrix. So. You will need an FPS game, first person shooter game, and my pick is Call of Duty World at War. You're free to choose whatever game you want. Alright, so I have Call of Duty World at War ready, and we will try to find the view matrix for it. So, it has to be a, an FPS game, first person shooter game, but once you read the game, I think we're all ready to go. You will open up Shaitanya. If you don't have that installed, then I do have a tutorial that lets you install it without any bloatware. So just complete that, have Shaitanya ready, and attach it to the game. You will check the or change the value type to float. We will have the rounded set to default. And now we, we can begin the search. So in our view matrix, whenever we move the camera, there is one value that sort of follows from 1 positive to minus 1 when we move the camera. So 1, we will try to find this value because when we do find it, we can use the nearby values and the hex viewer to find our view matrix. So let's just find that value first. You will understand what I talk about. So, search, search for 1 when looking towards the sky. We now look at the ground and search for minus 1. Repeat, look towards the sky, search 1, or it's ceiling in this case. Look towards the ground and search for minus 1. So, just repeat until you have a few addresses left. And we can begin the deduction process. Alright, so from the last two scans, there wasn't any less addresses uh, filtered out and so on. So we will begin our sort of investigation now. We will go from the top with the screen addresses and then move downwards as we go. Hopefully we don't need to go that far to find our view metrics, but let's begin. So you will hold control, then hit B to open the memory viewer. Now it should look like it should look like this for you. And you will go to the hex viewer down here and right click, change the display type to float. This will bring up the values but as in floats. Now you will reach or resize the window until you have four columns. So this is two columns, four columns, one, two, three, and four. The reason for using four columns is because our view matrix is four columns and four rows. So if we do find our view matrix, we can align it here to sort of confirm or deny if it fits our target. So, or we have the nearby values ready, we can now move the camera to see if there's anything that looks like a view matrix. 
So, something happens here in the beginning. Could see that 4x4 four four values change here. But the first value is minus 17 and 227 and 61. These look like position coordinates, and I don't think it will match our world to screen calculation. So, I will skip this first matrix just because it doesn't fit our logic. So, we will go back in game, check again. So, now you can see that these values sort of change, but they're not aligned. So, we will hold control, control, and then plus G, hit OK, and now go in game again. So, you can see that values change in a 4x4 four four manner. Only one that didn't change was, was this third column. It might not matter. This is a matrix that I would test out, or write down at least. So we take this address, we can hold, hit Ctrl G again. Open up the notepad, and then write down. So you save it for later. So you would go like this, and investigate the other values. So these ones are of the same, but you can go further if you want to. Now, I do have an application to test my view matrix. We will take our address, then copy paste it. Now, you can see one red circle in the middle. In my application, it says that means that this is the column ma major, but it doesn't change. So it's not that one. However, we can see that one dot is on the ground. We can see that this green dot is on the ground. So this is the 0, 0, 0 position. And we can see that our view matrix allows it or confirms this. So we have found our view, view matrix. We can see a position through walls. You can now code your code your wall hack or ESP, whatever you want, because you have your view matrix address. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's sort of it. So, let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on this view matrix tester program that I have. Because it's really, really convenient to have something to just confirm whether you think it's a view matrix or not. This method does not work in all cases. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.